might get something at the end of the season. So the Braves are gone? I don't know. They might make an appearance. I don't know. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Senior day, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So you have a lucky hairdo? Huh? Do you have a lucky hairdo? I don't know. I might have to bring back the Braves from uh, Michigan because I scored on the KOR, but I don't know. It was like the power of the poof or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but no, I don't have a lucky hairdo, nothing like that. I don't know. And you haven't changed your running style in you, it, it, since you've been here, have you? Have you changed much in terms of, just got bigger really? Yeah, I mean, I learned how to run behind my pads when it's like comes down to like getting, if it's like third and one, like I learned how to, you know, get pad under pad, drive my feet a little bit. Um, but other than that, like um, I've been a speed guy, so, you know, Fleet, he's the, he's the bruiser really, but if I need to be, you know, I'll switch up. But that's like a game basis really, so. Mm -hmm. Have you had time to reflect on joining the, the 4,000 yard club? I know you, you downplayed it then. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'll downplay it now. But I mean, have you had time to reflect on, you know, think about it a little more? Not really. I mean, it was cool because I read a few articles about it. My mom was like going on about it and everything. Um, and like um, my city brought like a charter bus. My mom had like a charter bus that brought like 70 people down from Cumberland. So like everyone after the game was just like, oh, you know. But um, I mean, it's cool and everything, but I just gotta keep focusing on the here and now, and then after the season, talk about it, you know. Um, so just gotta keep moving forward. So while you might think of technology as being secondary to your core business, the reality is that without it, many companies would find themselves at a complete standstill. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. We'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and the full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. That, is that important to you, the, 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 the connection to Cumberland? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, just to know that there's a bus that drove like two and a half, three hours just to come see me. You know, it's pretty nice. Um, makes you feel good, gives you confidence and everything. And I saw them all well, during the turf walk too. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, so it, it felt pretty good and gave me a little bit of confidence for the game. A couple of those breakaways, I want to see if you have radar. Can you feel those guys behind you? Because you stayed just enough in front of them. <laughs> Can you feel them back there? I don't know. Sometimes, like, it's just like that instinct that you have someone behind you. And sometimes I look at the jumbo to, and <laughs> I've done that a few times. Like, I think there's a few pictures you see me looking up in the air, and I'm just looking at the jumbo trying to see where they're at, so I can like slow down and be like, all right, I can just cruise. But um, yeah, it's just instinct when you feel someone behind you. You feel better rocking the 24 jersey now? Well, I've always felt good rocking ever since I got it. You're... How did you get that the first time? Hmm? How did you become a 24? I was a peewee. I was wearing number 42 for the Raiders. I went went over to the Saints. I was number 54, fullback, linebacker, and then they changed me to 24. I was playing like corner, safety, linebacker, and I was at running back finally. So that was my first time I got 24. So. I, I think it was your sophomore year. You talked about maybe there was one run where you got caught from behind. And I, I don't know who it was against, but you talked about how that was sort of the next step at that point to sort of have that speed where they, they're not going to catch you. When did that sort of kick in? I mean, there was always a few games like here and there. Um, I know there was Michigan State, the, the blackout game. Um, there was Purdue when I had that. Right, I think it was a Purdue yeah, game. Yeah, it was Purdue. And also Rutgers number nine. I don't know if that was the same number nine um, last week, but he hawked me like it was bad. Like he just came into the screen and just hawked me. So. Um, those games were definitely like, okay, I still got to work on my speed as I gain weight. So. Can I just touch on the defense quickly? Trey Watson has come in this season, made an immediate impact. Just You're on the other side of the ball. When you're on the sideline watching him, what sticks out to you and how it impacts the team? Oh, I love him, for real. Um, when he first came in and like during spring ball, when we went against the linebackers, I knew he was going to be a great player. Um, there was one day we were doing trigger tackle. And like I gave him a little pop, and then we went again. And then I had like gold teeth in, and like one of them actually fell out because he hit me so hard. I was like, "All right, you the real deal now." <laughs> um, but you seeing him play, like he flies around the ball. He gets a defense right. Um, he came in after the second half, 
um, last week and had a pick, had a few tackles. So he's a high energy guy that plays great at all times. And you know, I hope the best for him after the season. And you know, he's just great. I love him. So. You know, he wants to be a dentist. Hmm? He wants to be a dentist, so he's actually going to be pulling teeth out or yeah, something. Yeah, well, you, maybe he can knock a few out while he's there. I don't know. But um, that's, that's, that's nice. I didn't know about that. There was a piece of video that came out a couple of weeks ago where they went into the running back's room and saw how tight you guys were. What's the move in that room now with all the success of it? It seems like everybody's happy. This is the same attitude. You know, we come to practice, compete, get better, um, you know, support each other. When we support each other, we're great. You know, there's always going to be competition. Like, if one guy gets a big run, like, okay, it's my turn to get a big run. But, um, you know, it's just being tight the whole time, supporting each other, learning from each other, and going from there. When you look back to the offseason, what do you remember about learning Coach Canada's offense and how simple, complex it is to you? And I was, I was, I was telling Jake after the when he came in, I was like, man, it's my third offense. I was just like, and this is hard. And I was just like. But like Jake, we help each other out um, learning it. But you know, it's very complex. You have a lot of jet sweeps, a lot of motions, and whatnot. You see the linemen moving, so I mean, it's a whole bunch. But um, you know, I just learned to love his offense. Um, it fits all the running backs well, I think. And you know, it's just one of those things you just got to keep going every week. What's, what's it going to take for you guys to go on the road and and knock off one of these nationally ranked teams? Preparation, execution. I'm um, not shooting ourselves in the foot. You know, there's been a few games where we've had a lot of penalties, offense and defense. But I think we just got to play our game. Um, I know Iowa. I respect Iowa. You know, they're a great team, and the coach there has done you know great things with them. So you know, it's a great team. We just got to go in there, execute, and not shoot ourselves in the foot. Do you see that being sort of a sort of a, a launching pad kind of thing for this team this this year, this program? beating a team when you're not supposed I mean, obviously you won the first game against Texas, uh, but but in the Big Ten, do you think that's sort of the next step for this team? I think every game is the next step, um, no matter who we play. Um, so it's just about, like I said, executing it. And then if we beat the team, you know, have confidence to do it. But when we beat a team, you know, that just adds another one to the win and knowing that we can do it over and over again. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.